first thing comes out of my mind, and I'm sure most people, is they sting. True. If you work with honeybees, you're going to get stung. I am Officer Mays of uh, the NYPD. I'm a police officer, and I am also the official department beekeeper. Uh, I got into beekeeping about 2008. My wife, uh, well, my fiance at the time, bought me a kit. Once I harvested my first batches of honey, I was like, wow, they really make this, I can really do this. And then I just went full blown from there. These are actual eggs or, or larvae that's inside, that's capped. Right here, you can see this was a, a, a queen cell. Anytime the bees swarm, it may be a public nuisance. If there's pedestrians walking by and they swarm onto the side of a building or in a tree, we remove them. I'm a midnight patrol cop. And when I get off in the mornings, if I get home and think I'm gonna go to sleep, I get a call to remove a swarm of bees from this place. And now I'm the sole one for the season of 2017. The reason I brought the hive onto the roof was for awareness to my coworkers, you know, that honeybees are, you know, they're docile. They don't go out looking to sting you or to harm you. That's not their intentions. Harvesting the honey and knowing you have honey that's pure, you know, it's the best thing ever because you know where it's coming from. And the perks is you being able to share it with your co-workers and your family and friends. Oh, that's, that's yeah, good. that's the oh, thing. Yeah, it burns like that. That's where you got you? Yeah. Please don't get discouraged. <laughs> no, there's no line of duty paperwork when I get stung, but since I've been raising honeybees, I've been stung well over 400 times. Beekeeping is seasonal. It runs from the height of the season, runs from May until July. But I really do enjoy being a policeman and then having the skills or the knowledge to be able to retrieve swarms as well. <laughs>